Good morning, friends. Today we are going to read The Mole and the Hole by Brayden Kowalczu. This is Mole and his best friend Grub. These are the rocks. And this is one of many ants. Some sunflowers, a very content fish. It's satisfied, satisfied, and there's a happy ladybug. So these are all the animals that's going to be coming out of it, that's going to appear in the story. The Mole and the Hole. My name is Mole. I live here in my hole. It's my home, but it's kind of dark and lonely. Every day I dig and dig and dig and try to try and leave this lonely place. But when I get to the top, there's always something blocking my way. No moles above ground, about shout the rocks. Well, that's not very nice. I don't know what their problem is. When I could go out, all I did was mind my own business. I'd grab some friends to play, get in a spot of sunbathing, do my ahem thing, then I do what I do best. Dig. I think that was a lot of trouble to everybody. As I said, I was no trouble to anyone. I've tried so many things to get outside. Dressing up as a rock, telling a funny joke, Knock, knock. Who's there? Ben. Ben who? I've been wondering if you could roll off the hole. And even pretending there's an earthquake. But nothing works. No moles above the ground, shout the rocks. I don't know what I'm going to do. Will I be stuck down here forever? Hang on a minute. What's that light? Oh, hey guys. Ah! Phew, I'm so glad that I got away from these rocks. Wow, this is a great new place to live. It's got bugs to eat. Uh-oh. Places to, to do my thing. Uh-oh. And this soil's great for digging. It's not being a good neighbor. Plus, I can go above ground whenever I want. I don't think so. Mole and his best friend Grub, angry rocks, grumpy ant, mucky flowers, a very grumpy fish, unhappy ladybug. The end. Let's not be a friend like Mole.